Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing a study in Paradox, hence we need Bazinga. Now, they can really select any card they wish and sign it, but no, I, th I think Bazinga is much more interesting, right? So we're going to take Bazinga and we're going to cut it into the deck just like this, right? Now, for this trick, we're going to be needing four, sorry, three cards. So we're going to take these three cards by hand, right? You have to understand, none of these are yours, right? This top one isn't yours, this middle one isn't yours, and this bottom one is most certainly not yours. Huh. Well, anyway, if you think it's on the bottom, well, then it certainly can't be in the middle, right? And if it's not in the middle, then it can't be on top, right? But you see, it doesn't really matter, because it's a paradox how it works. If it's not on the top, not on the bottom, it's got to be in the middle, right? So that's all very nice and interesting, but what's more interesting is the identity of these cards. Because you see, this bottom one has no identity at all. And then if the bottom one has no identity, then the top one also has no identity. And then if the top card has no identity, then you can be almost sure that the middle card also has no identity. That's all very nice and well. I guess it'd be easier to say that none of these cards have any identity. Now that can change very quickly. So all I have to do is take my trick hands and just give them a little wave and just like that, the identities quickly start to appear. You see we have the Jack of Cubs, we got the Jack of Dimes, and we got the Queen of Hearts, but that's very nice, but we still don't have your card. Now see, all we have to do is take this card, right, the Jack of Clubs, right, all we have to do is pass through my fist just like that, and maybe pass through again, and it instantly changes to your Bazinga. Thanks.